Look at the details. Thank you, Jacqueline Hill, for this palette. This palette is the bomb. If you wanted to know how I got this Valentine's Day inspired look using the Jacqueline Hill and Morphe palette volume two, stay tuned. Hi lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Lexus Beauty. If you are a new viewer here, I just wanna say thank you so much and welcome to my channel. I talk about everything beauty related, fashion, uh, lifestyle, wellness, a little bit of business, a little bit of everything. So if you are interested in those topics, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the gang. And if you are already subscribed, I just wanna say thank you so much for the love and support. I love you, love you, love you, love you and I appreciate you so much. Um, just make sure that you follow my Instagram to just keep up to date with me and know when I'm posting. So if you haven't already, follow me on IG. My Instagram is I am Queen Lexus, and it'll be right here. But yeah, so I'm pretty much gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 and Morphe palette. I'm gonna be using this to do my 2022 Valentine's Day makeup look and um, yeah, so I just felt very inspired. I know I'm way ahead of time because I'm filming this video January the 7th and Valentine's Day is not until February, but I got inspired. So, so first I'm going to start off with the African Shea Butter. I just use this on my face because I use this as my primer or like my base set for my face because my skin is so sensitive. So my skin don't really like just bare makeup. And it makes my face feel so good. And it, when I remove my makeup, it just makes my makeup come off so smooth, so smoothly. So I'm just going to prime my face with this. I have my mirror right here. So if you guys see me kind of looking down, that's what I'm looking at. But yeah, let me know in the comment section too if you guys have anything planned for Valentine's Day. Like, what are y'all doing for Valentine's Day? Are y'all chilling? Because we do have all of these variants of the C word coming out, you know? We got the Omicron. We got every variant there is known to man, apparently. So what are y'all going to be doing? I would love to know. Oh, and for my, I do have contacts in my eyes. I got these contacts from Solitica Lens, and these contacts are so beautiful. I love them. I get so many compliments on them. And the color that I'm wearing right now is Mel. That's my favorite. If you look on my Instagram, I only take pictures in Mel. It's my favorite. It's so cute. It's like a green, just so pretty. So yeah, check out the description box if you want to purchase you some contacts. And I also have a coupon code for y'all. So yeah, do that. So what's next? Next, next. I'm going to go ahead and just set my eyelids with the base. And the base that I'm using is just the NYX eyeshadow base in white it's just regular NYX base and really I'm just gonna take my finger I'm so excited to be unboxing the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm not even gonna lie to you I haven't bought a palette for myself in a long time I bought this palette in November and it's January but I was like I have to unbox this palette with you guys like y'all have to see it with me because it will be no fun just me opening up it up by myself you know so I'm just priming my eyelid so that the color can come out very vibrant Y'all, it's like the more, the older I get, the more happy I'm getting about holidays. Like, I don't even care if it's man-made. You know what I mean? I don't even care if it has no meaning. It's just something about the celebrating of it all. It just makes me so excited. And I just can feel myself starting to, like, go all out for the holidays. Seriously. So, now that my eyelids are primed, I'm going to use... 
I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills translucent powder. So I'm just going to be using the powder to set my brows. I meant to set my eyelid. I feel like I should have used a wider translucent powder because it really just made everything blend in completely. But the palette is so freaking, from what I've seen, it's so nice. So I'm sure the color doesn't have a problem with showing. So this is the palette. This is what it looked like. It has Jaclyn Hill on the back with her pretty self. So cute. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. You guys are going to get a little ASMR because I do have my mic right here. So, yes. I hate messing up the box, y'all. I don't like messing up the box at all. Oh, it's just so cute. It looks really classy and sleek looking. And here we go. So I'm going to show you guys before I see it. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Ooh, I like this. Oh my God, the pink is so pretty. It's called Tipsy Girl. It's called Tipsy Girl. Oh, and the no joke, the yellow. That is so freaking pretty. Oh man, these colors are gorgeous. You can't even see the white because my ring. Colors are gorgeous. Yeah. All right, so we about to, I'm excited. We about to, it says to all, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so excited, I can't even read. Okay, it says to all my loving subscribers who have supported me all these years, this one's for you, volume two, XO. I can't, I don't even wanna mess it up, but I'm about to play. All right, so I just primed my eyelids, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the color Tipsy Girl. I'm, I'm gonna do a color swatch. OMG, this is with no primer, y'all. Look at that. I wonder if you can see it. I'm sure you can. But this is so nice. I'm going to add a little bit more so you can really see it. It's so nice. I put it on my face. Just trying to see where I'm at with my timer. So I'm going to go ahead and apply Tipsy Girl to my face. Dang, this is nice. Okay. So first I just pat it on and then I do it in a circular motion. But when first applying, I just really pat it on my eyes. But going up to my eyebrow, I definitely do a circular motion. And I just kind of buff it out, you know? So it won't be so harsh. And I'm gonna add some more to like my crease area. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Y'all, I'm about to get really dramatic because I have no chill. This is so freaking bomb. How are we feeling? Are we feeling this pink? Are we feeling the pink? Are my girls feeling the pink? I'm feeling the pink. Oh man, this is just, wow. I'm about to have fun. So I'm just patting it on there, just patting it to make sure the color is like super but you don't even need that many coats because she does such a good job with the color. Like, you don't need that many coats. That's what I love. And it doesn't have that much fallout, neither. Like, I don't have barely any fallout. Love that. You guys like my earrings, too? My grandmother got these earrings from India. 
And she gave them to me. I take all my grandma jewelry. Grandma's jewelry are like, that's the best jewelry in the world. Don't sleep on your grandma's jewelry, okay? Any jewelry that's getting passed down to you from like the older family members, please take them in. Don't sleep on them. I take all her jewelry. I take her mama's jewelry. I take everything. All the jewelry she gives me. They be so beautiful, though. They be so beautiful and vintage and meaningful. I love meaningful jewelry. All right, so now I'm going to take a calmer color, more calmer. So I'm going to take the color Love Handles in this shade right here. Where I'm pointing at, I'm going to take this color Love Handles. It's like a neutral color just to kind of neutralize where I'm going to be doing my cut crease at. I love the fact that she has the name Love Handles on here because I've been struggling with my Love Handles, but just seeing this just makes me feel so loved. We love Love Handles, right? So I'm just going to take this and just kind of smear it where I'm going to do my cut crease at to add some type of definition. And y'all just trust the process, okay? Just trust the process. Oh, this just added, adds a little debt and depth, <laughs> not debt. This just adds a little depth into the makeup. Oh, it has like a little glitter on it. So pretty. It has some type of glitter, shade, glittery shade onto it. Y'all, I never did a pink this dramatic before, but I am freaking in love. All right, girls. So I pretty much got on my base. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the cut crease. What I'm going to use for the cut crease is just the same NYX eyeshadow base that I was using at first. I'm going to use this and I'm going to use a brush. I'm not going to use my eyebrow brush. I'm just going to use this thin one because I want to get really precise with my cut crease. So I'm just going to take it and cut from here. To right there. And I'm going to do the same. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and drag it on out like that. I usually don't do cut creases because my eyes are so hooded that you barely see it. But I'm starting to just like overlook that, you know, because I love a good cut crease. So this is my first time using this thin brush to do my cut crease because I usually use my eyebrow one because it's more of an angle. But I like this more because it's so precise. I was trying to tell y'all what time it was before my camera got toxic and turned off on me. But it's 1 o'clock in the morning and I have to be at work at 6 in the morning. Well, I have to wake up at 5, but I took a long nap today. I will be okay. And if I'm not, I'll get on here and let y'all know what y'all do to me. But, girl... Let's talk about it at one o'clock in the morning. Let's talk about this. This is so pretty. So I'm just going to drag this cut crease up a little bit more. My cut crease has to be perfect. Yeah, I'm a Capricorn. This is, you know, this is just what it is. Ew, I messed up. Super bomb. All right, so what I'm gonna do is that same pink that I had at first, I'm just going to dip it in certified. Well, no, 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 I'm not. So I'm just gonna take that same brush. This is the fashion shader in so I'm just pretty much going to just kind of buff out the pink that's all just buff out the pink because I don't want it too harsh 
and I buff it out in a circular motion. So now what I'm going to do is just pretty much set the um, base shadow that I just put on my face. I'm going to set it with my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder. Actually, no, because she's too neutral and I just need something a little bit more white and harsh. I'm going to use my Kiss Professional, this right here, in the color Invincible. It just has more of a white finish to it, and that's what I need. Okay, so I'm just going to set it. Yeah, so it's this color on the end. I'm going to take Certified. It's called Certified. I'm going to take Certified and a little bit of this Lolly Mama. Just to create like a little pink color. It's just so neon. It's just so much. Like imagine showing up to your date like this with all this pink on your eye. <laughs> oh man, I love it. I will do it. Y'all know I don't care. So I ended up taking this color right here because I was going to do like a baby pink, but I told y'all I was going to get dramatic. I gave y'all a warning. So I ended up taking this color called Lolly Mama right here where I'm pointing my finger at this color right here lolly mama and i took certified just to kind of tone it down a little bit so i took those two colors and i'm going to show you guys more of what lolly mama look like so it looks like the hot pink that i put on but it's a little bit more lighter so this is lolly mama and this is what i put on when i first started doing my makeup but this right here the top one is lolly mama and i just diluted it down a little bit with the certified okay so now what i'm going to do is just take some makeup i'm going to take some eyelash glue and go ahead and apply my glitter because the glitter takes a minute to dry and i'm going to put multiple coats on there so i just got like some regular duo so this is what i got just regular smegular i got it from the beauty supply store and it looks like this. So I'm going to take this and I have my Rockin' the Night Sparkle Powder by J Cat Beauty. I don't even know where I got this from. Got it from the beauty supply store somewhere. But yeah, I just got some regular red powder. And I just dip a little bit onto the duo brush. And I'm just going to go along that crease cut, that line that we created. Okay 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 this is gorgeous dang y'all i didn't know it, it was gonna turn out like this this is pretty i'm actually gonna drag it out a little bit so that it can kind of meet with my black eyeliner my wing liner and i'm just gonna do the other side pretty much the same Ting. This is pretty cute. So I just seen something though that I didn't really like. I'm actually going to take my brush again and go back in with Tipsy Girl and just make it a little bit darker at the top. Oh, that's that with that. Now I'm going to take my um, Kisses eyeliner and go ahead and do my eyeliner. Really, I'm going to take my... I'm going to take my Anastasia gel eyeliner. I think that'll be a lot better. So I'm just going to take the Anastasia in the color Jet. It's just regular gel liner. Y'all, this is so dramatic of me. I usually don't go this dramatic. Oh my gosh, that's way too much. That's way too much. Good God. Oh, goodness. That was way too much, like, wow. So, one thing I love about makeup is you can erase any flaw that you think you have, you know? So, that's that for the wing. 
I'm really not going to do too much with the wing because I don't do a heavy wing and I just don't want to mess up y'all. This pink is way too pretty to mess up. Like imagine putting all of this pink on your face and then you mess up and you just go like have pink everywhere. No, no meal. So I'm just going to carefully. Oh, good God. You know what's this? Oh, what? You know what's a funny thing us girls do when we do doing our makeup? We all go, go like, oh, 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 like that makes a difference. That don't make a difference. But I can't help it. I really can't help it. I don't know why I do that, though. Oh, this is bad, y'all. Okay, but we got this. So I'm just going to take it and then... Take it, drag the wing out with no remorse. I learned that with my wing, I'd be a little bit too careful. And that's when my wing just turned out all types of crazy. But when I'm like not even caring and I just drag that baby on out, that's when my wing liner come out beautiful. When I don't care, you know? I think you always get the best results when you just don't care. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so I'm just ready to see it all come together because it's looking real messy right now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and apply my eyelashes. And I'm going to apply my eyelashes off camera. So I will be right back, baby, baby. All right, babe, so I got the girls popped in. My best friend gave me these eyelashes, y'all. Shout out to her, okay, because they look so pretty. So pretty much what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get my face made up. So um, I had already put on the primer that I used. So now I'm going to use my NYX pore filler just to fill in these pores. And wow, I have glitter everywhere. See, it never fails, never fails. I always have glitter everywhere. I'm really feeling this, y'all. This is so burning. So I'm just gonna put my pore filler all over my face. I really don't know why I'm using a brush for this. So I'm just gonna rub it in to my chin. Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I use MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the color NC45. Since it is cold outside and I'm a little pale, I'm going to be mixing it with my Tarte Concealer shade 345 Medium Sand. And this is what she looks like. So I'm going to be mixing these two bad gals together to get my perfect shade because... And I'm like all out of this. Wow, you know what? Struggle for what? You know, struggle for what? Why are we struggling? So I'm definitely gonna go get me some more foundation. I don't use a lot, a lot of foundation because it just be feeling too cakey on my face, you know, like it clogs my pores way too much. And I have very sensitive skin, like I stated before, so I can't use a lot of foundation. I just can't. So I put that on me. Then I'm just going to take my brush. This I got from the beauty supply store a long time ago, but it's such a good applicator brush. So I'm going to use this to... Blend everything in. So I'm just going to use my makeup wipe to just kind of wipe off all of the excess eyeshadow. Okay. So yeah, I'll just leave it like that. And finish applying the foundation. Oh. 
I'm the boardwalk queen. I'm going to be taking my Tarte Ultra Creamy in the color medium sand, number 345. So I'm going to be doing the new TikTok way of doing your concealer. You just take a little bit right here, take a little bit right here, and then you go right here, and then you go right here. Yeah. And then I turn it to the side so I can get it very precise to go down my nose. And I just go like that. For the tip of my nose. And then I'm going to go right here and right here. I'm going to take it right here. Do a little bit on my forehead. That didn't sound right. Okay, so next is I'm going to take my Bare Minerals in the color Cinnamon 10.5 Complexion Rescue. And it, this color is so pretty. It just gives me like a little mini tan. It's so cinnamon. I love it. So I'm just going to draw some dots, probably three. Who is blowing up my phone at 1 o'clock in the morning? So, and then I'm going to just take the little dots, go right there. Nothing too extra. You know, maybe so. I'm going to put a little bit underneath my lips to give me some lips because I don't got no lips. And then, of course, just take some of it and go right beside my nose area. And that's how I do it. And I take a little bit right there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm loving this, y'all. I'm telling I'm going to work just like this. Okay. So, so I'm going to take my MSQ in the shade. I'm sorry. I'm going to take my MSQ angle brush. It's called the Angle Contour Brush in 136. This is what she looked like. So I'm going to take this one. This is what she looks like. And I'm just going to begin to blend out my, not the concealer, but the, um, blend out the concealer. I like to blend out my dark concealer first. I just pat it and I brush it back like that. You know, just pat it. Look how beautiful this blends out. I love that cinnamon stick by Complexion by Bare Minerals. It's so bomb, right? Because it's so subtle. It gives you that, like, that Hollywood subtle. Like, it's not too harsh. I do not like harsh makeup. Okay, so on to this area, my cheek area. I just pat it up and I don't drag it all the way down here because I just like it when it's like, you know, in the corner. And I just pat it into my hairline. That's all. That's it. That's all. And I do the same for right here. So this is right here is what I use to blend in the highlight area. So I'm just going to take this and just begin to kind of blend in my under eye foundation, my under eye concealer, I'm sorry. And I just kind of bring it into my smile line a little bit. And for the side, I pat it. So I'm going to pat it and just kind of bring it up. That's it. And I really like to let it dry because I don't want to. Well, I take the opposite end and I pat it just to buff it out. Okay, right here, like I said, I just pat drag it like that. Then I drag it on down a little bit. So for my nose, I like to just take my time and blend it up to my brow a little bit. 
just take my time and blend this part down. I just take my brush, the OG brush that's used for everything, and I just pretty much kind of buff everything out. Yes, so cute. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and set everything with powder. So I'm going to take my Anastasia in the color Translucent, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to take this and go ahead and set my face. I start with my nose because I feel like that needs to be set the longest. So I just pretty much grab everything. Marcia. Oh, you know what? Y'all have been saying the wrong name. This is Loria Marcia. I think that's how you say the name. This is not Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have Anastasia Beverly Hills everything. So that's why I said it. But I was just about to say that's not right. And look, I still have my girl. I thought I had a full beard going on and that's just some leftover <laughs> some leftover concealer that I did not blend in I was like what oh what I need to look at myself more because uh-uh and I'm just going to blend it in right here And then I'm going to take out my Anastasia Beverly Hill bronzer in the color Cappuccino. This is what it looks like. This is the color cap Cappuccino. It's a really subtle color. It's not that dark. It's not that light. It's just, it's just very subtle. And I like that. Just pat it along everywhere where I want the shadow to contour my face. Oh, my ear is ringing so bad right now. That's the most annoying feeling. My left ear. I'm gonna put some on the tip of my nose. I hope I don't sneeze. Then I'm just gonna take my OG for everything brush and I'm just going to go along my contour to set it on my nose. And right here. I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. I got a little powder on my eyebrows, so I'm just going to pat my brows. That can kind of set my brows a little bit, too. I'm feeling this, y'all. I look very glam. I love, love, love. So this that's going to be the title of this video. It's going to be a glam 2022 Valentine's Day look. All right, so what I'm going to do is line my lips, and I'll be back on here with the finished look. So this concludes the makeup look. I really hope that you all enjoyed this makeup look. I just really did my lips. Um, the lip color that I used is the Kylie Cosmetics MAC Liquid Lipstick in the color can in the shade Candy K, shade 802. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, so I pretty much used this on my lips. I put like two coats on there to get it this really lovely lipstick shade and then after that I use my Lancome in the shade <laughs> I cannot talk it's so late y'all like it's two o'clock in the morning and I have to wake up at five o'clock like I'm just wilding okay so <laughs> this right here is Lancome and this is in the shade 222 and this is how it looks it's really sparkly and nude so and for my highlight i used my anastasia beverly hills glow kit and i only like the color marshmallow and the color butterscotch those are my two favorite colors so 
yeah this is the finished makeup look i'm just going to just show you guys up a little bit closer but this is what i look like and i'm just going to show you guys the cut crease that i did yeah i'm very proud of myself i usually don't do all of this but this was nice i had fun doing this y'all like i really 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 enjoyed doing this really enjoyed it and um so if you watched the video all the way through i just want to say thank you so much if you haven't already make sure that you also follow me on instagram i i am queen lexus i post a lot of things that i'm doing on there so if you don't see it on youtube you will see it on instagram first so make sure that you guys follow me on my ig it'll be posted right here i am queen lexus follow me now just go ahead and pause the video get on your phone type in instagram and follow i am queen lexus go ahead and do that oh so subscribe to me if you haven't already i love you guys see you guys in the next video Mwah.